So you have a Samsung Galaxy A13 and you forgot your password or your PIN or maybe it's not working. I'm going to show you how to perform a factory reset, okay? So just remember with a factory reset, you're going to be losing all of your information, your personal settings, your photos and videos. So hopefully you have a backup, okay? So this is what we have to do to do the factory reset, okay? So the first thing is, I mean, we would have to like, turn off our phone. However, if you try to turn off your phone, it's asking you that for your password to turn off the phone, okay? So this is what we're going to do here. So with the phone on, what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold the volume down button and power button. We're going to press and hold both buttons together, and we're going to count to 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, we're only going to let go of the volume down button and then press and hold the volume up button and never take your, uh, never take your finger off the power button. So once you're holding uh, the volume up and the power button, just continue to hold until you see the Samsung logo appear. Then you can let go of both buttons. All right. Now, here's the thing. We can go ahead and do it right now with the phone naked. However, for some of you guys, it may not work for you. Okay. If it doesn't work for you, then what you want to do is just go to your computer and just plug it in. Plug the power cable into your computer, into your phone. Okay. So if you guys don't have a computer laying around, you can go ahead and try try it without plugging in first okay anyway follow along with me okay so we're going to go volume down power again press and hold both buttons at the same time count to 10 seconds after 10 seconds we're going to let go of only the volume down and press and hold the power button continue to hold the power button and the volume up button until we see the samsung logo so let's do this together okay volume down power button ready set go one two three don't worry about what's happening to the screen. Just keep on counting to 10 seconds. 7, 8, 9, 10. And then volume up. I'm still holding on to the power button. I'll wait for the Samsung logo. There it is. Let go. I may have to do it again. Let's see if I got it. Okay, got it. So this boot, boot us up into the Android recovery system here. And then from here, what we can do is a factory reset. Okay, so you can use the volume rockers to move up or down. What you want to do is go down to white data slash factory reset. Now, this is very very important down here okay it says down here if your phone is reset you may actually you will uh, need to enter the google account information which is the gmail account that you had synced to this phone you will need the email address and the password associated with this phone to be able to use it so basically if you have a gmail account synced most of you guys probably do once we do the factory reset and you start going through the setup process Eventually, like three quarters to the end of the um, setup process, is going to ask you for your Gmail um, address as well as your password that you had synced to this phone in order to complete the setup. Okay, so remember that. Anyway, if you want to proceed, we highlight it white data slash factory reset. I'm going to tap on the power button here to um, select it. So I'm going to tap on the power button. And then we get another red message up here. This is basically saying once you do this, this cannot be undone. Okay, so if you want to proceed, you want to go down to highlight factory data reset. So we'll use the volume down button. We'll highlight factory data reset. And we're going to reset this phone right now. Ready? Press on that power button. Boom. Now give this a second here. Okay, white data complete or data wipe complete. Now it defaults us back up to here where it says reboot system now which is highlighted and that is what we want so we're just going to go ahead and press on the power button here and now it's going to go ahead and perform a factory reset and this whole process will take about two minutes it'll end up um, staying on the Samsung logo for a good time so just be patient and just wait here now we get a progress bar and voila guys we are now in business there you go. Questions or issues, just comment below. All right? Good luck, guys.